Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. Next ID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. As last Friday wore on, the crypto market mounted a bit of a rally, bringing total market capitalization from $116 billion going into the weekend to $121 billion at press time, according to CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin starts this week off trading at $3,655, followed by Ether at $121, which has recently reclaimed its number two spot in terms of market cap, and XRP, which is trading for $0.30. Litecoin, which surged last week to become the fourth most valued cryptocurrency by market cap, has maintained its position there despite having dropped about 6% in the last 24 hours. Philippine bank Union Bank is launching a crypto ATM, according to a report from local outlet Philstar. The ATMs will be two-way, allowing users to purchase cryptocurrency with cash or sell it for cash. A statement from Union Bank reads, quote, In the bank's continued quest to cater to the evolving needs and tastes of customers, including clients who use virtual currency, the ATM will provide these clients an alternative channel to convert their pesos to virtual currency and vice versa. Quartz India reports that the Indian government is worried about the possible destabilizing effects cryptocurrency adoption may have on the rupee. The article quotes an anonymous source from a high-level government panel in charge of drafting legislation in for the crypto space. Quote, If Bitcoin and other digital currencies are going to be allowed to be used for payments, then whether it will end up destabilizing the fiat currency is a major concern for them, referring to the panel. The overall impact on the financial ecosystem that it is likely to have is still unclear, and it has been a challenge to convince them on this particular point. End quote. Coindesk reports that two remittance firms, UAE Exchange and Unimony, have gone live with blockchain-based RippleNet payments technology. RippleNet allows real-time cross-border remittances, including international clients of the two firms in Thailand. Finn Abler, which owns the two firms, said the remittance service was launched in partnership with Siam Commercial Bank in Thailand. Finn Abler, director and CEO, Promoth Manghat said, quote, The adoption of blockchain opens up considerable potential to streamline remittances and provide a frictionless, fast and secure payments experience. End quote. And the Bank of Spain issued a notice yesterday warning citizens against the potential dangers of using cryptocurrencies. The document emphasizes the lack of regulations in the crypto space in Spain noting that users of cryptocurrencies have no real legal recourse if funds are stolen or a transaction goes wrong. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, NextID is a PR, news, and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.